going back. You got three, maybe five. Took the fight right out of them. After four days, I stopped counting. After four years, I stopped feeling. Think they'll try again, Captain? Not tonight. By tomorrow, we'll have pulled back farther. Didn't figure it would be such a long war. My whole life, Montgomery, I never fired a rifle. Seems that's all I've done since. In Tennessee, we teethe on a Colt 45. You going back to Tennessee when it's over? Long enough to get married and say goodbye. The Yankees win, they'll be swarming. You know, living in the border states. Kansas, where I'm heading. You're gonna get me 160 acres with my nearest neighbor a mile past the sound of a rifle shot. You just don't make sense. You're supposed to be chopping, not watching me. This walking in and out, why? Five months we slept and ate and lived in that. Today we put in our door. Tonight we can close it. Tomorrow I'll have to open it and dig ten acres of furrow. Wade Harlan, you have no sentiment. Our first house and all you can think of is leaving. After the wheat is planted and grown and harvested, winter sets in. I'll have plenty of time to get sentimental. Wait. Ellen, this is Kansas. Nobody lives next door. in every direction. A fence? Not as far as you could see. But they did find a town, though, about 10 miles to the south. Sit down and eat. From what I could see, it didn't look like much of a town, but I think it's big enough to have a land office. Legal. Remember that. Not with killing. I've had my belly full of that, Ellen. All I want is to be left alone. Tomorrow I'll ride into town and get things settled. I'll go with you. I can handle it alone. There's a town, we can get supplies. Needles, thread, there's a lot I need. It's going to be a long winter. You going to wear your Sunday dress? Give the town folk a treat? I might. And you'll wear a clean shirt and no gun.
No matter what, hold your temper. I'll try. Well, welcome to Buffalo Gap, folks. I'm Daniel White, head of the land office. Notary Public, Justice of the Peace, Wells Fargo agent, and a couple of other jobs whose titles I've forgotten. Glad to know you, Mr. White. I'm Wade Harlan. This is my wife. A real pleasure, ma'am. Won't you sit down? There's no often the lady of quality pays me a visit. Thank you, Mr. White. Now then, which one of my many services may I offer to you? Head of the land office. You don't get many calls for that. I'm homesteading 160 acres, about 10 miles north of here. Homesteading? In cattle country? Well, there are no fences. That makes it open land. According to the law, it does. Am I right in thinking there's some papers to be signed, something to prove what I'm working? Where are you from, Mr. Harlan? Tennessee. I'm from Ohio originally. You didn't answer my question, Mr. White. There's a gentleman by the name of Garrett. I've heard his name. Everything from horizon to horizon, 40 miles in any direction, belongs to him. 40? It's as close as we can figure it, ma'am. No man can work that much land. I didn't say he works it. I didn't even say he owns it. I said it belongs to him. I'm taking 160 acres of land that hasn't been worked. Draw up the papers. It'll cost you $10. How long will it take you? About a week. Draw them up. I'll be back. Anything you say. Come on, Tom. General stores across the street. Don't you feel it? I don't feel anything. There's fear and there's hatred, so think you can taste it. But you want needles and thread? I think I want to ride on. So far, all we've heard is talk. Big talk. From little people. Get a look at him, men. A real live nester. Only one in these parts. You mean the kind that crawls along on the ground, digging holes? That's the kind I mean, Burke. The kind that crawls. Little woman's the boss there, man. <laughs> I see you've already met some of our citizens, Mr. Harlan. Have we met somewhere? No, but your name's been quite a topic of conversation these past 24 hours. They tell you I'm homesteading a piece of land? Yeah. First we've had in 10 months. Then there are others. Uh, no, ma'am. No, you're the only ones. But you just said that... Understand me, ma'am. There's been close to a dozen others have tried, but nobody stayed around long enough to even meet Mr. Garrett. I'm staying. I want thread, some salt pork, dried beans. I didn't get your name. It's Ferris. That thread's a dollar a spool, ma'am. But it says five cents. Well, I've been so busy, I haven't had time to change the prices. You mean since we came in? The price is a dollar a spool. Salt pork, five dollars a pound. Dried beans, twenty-five dollars a sack. Let's go. Look, Mr. Ferris, we need these things. I don't even have enough money to pay you the regular price until after harvest time, but we need them now. I wish I could help. You can if you have any guts. Well, I've got them, mister. I just don't want to spill them. Yeah. Eating dirt's a clodhopper's favorite food. What do you want from me? I want to watch you crawl. Wait in the wagon, Ellen. Come with me. In a minute. Can you tell me, Plater, a, a widow makes the best kind of wife. They make the best everything. <laughs> I 
Every piece of him. just made a mistake, mister. You don't use your hands here. You use a gun. I'm not wearing one. I can see that. Turn around. You met Garrett? Yeah. How much land do you claim, Mr. Garrett? No more than I can hold. I'd like to buy a quarter section. You just keep riding west. If I had a gun and killed your man, would that give me the right to the land? Yeah. <laughs> Six feet of it. You got the look of a soldier, Mr. Garrett. Didn't you learn anything? Didn't those four years teach you anything? They taught me you got to fight to win. This is my land. Understand that, Nestor? My land. All I want is a quarter section. Don't take this personal. I got nothing against you yet. You Nestors breed like rats. If I let one of you come in and get a toehold, you'll dig up my land. And I don't intend to let that happen. Either you ride out tomorrow or you start wearing a gun. Did you believe him? He means it. You said you were through with killing. Did you mean it? Because it's what I want. Tell me, Wade. Son of, we ride west. Being selfish, aren't I? Sensible. I just don't understand that type of man. I don't want to. I just want to put miles between us. He thinks he's right. Well, what right can there be in killing? I didn't say there was. Garrett's type will die someday, but right now he runs this range. Cattlemen think different, act different. It's a big country, big enough to find what we want. I suppose so. We'll find it together. I wish it were that simple. Give us a chance. Helen! I'm all right. All right, I'm just so scared. Can't you see that's just what they want? Then I'll give it to them. And me, do I go with it? You just stay here. There's ten of them. You won't get halfway through the door, but they'll kill you. Are you hiding out of the bed, Sodbuster? All right, Yellow Belly, we're waiting for you. You think he'll come out on his knees or his belly? <laughs> I think he'll send his woman out. <laughs> well, so long, mister. <laughs> I want you to die. But can I live like this? Maybe we didn't ride far enough. Maybe we've ridden too far.
Just tell him we're leaving. No! I've got to get my gun, Ellen. I have to have it, understand? No! I come out to tell you it wasn't my doing. I don't write at night. You think that makes a difference? It makes a difference to me. So now you got another 24 hours. You better be out of here by tomorrow. Don't waste time saying goodbyes. Next time you ride through, will your gun hands be backing you up? I won't need them. Not for you. I've handled your kind before, farmer. I've listened to them whine, and I've seen their knees shake. Stop talking, Garrett. I've watched them stand, and I've watched them crumble. You won't be any different. You're pushing too hard. Only because you Nestor's been so easy. Today. Let's leave today. Right now. This land isn't worth getting killed over. It's good land. In my life, Wade, I cried through a whole war for you. I prayed that you'd come back to me. I don't want to lose you now. Not for this or for anything else. How far do I have to crawl? If we have to, all the way to California. Nothing but water on the other side of California. If it isn't Garrett who's doing the pushing, it'll be somebody else. Me who's doing the drowning. You're just being stubborn. Trying to be a man or you're being a fool. You're the second person that's called me that, Ellen. Maybe I am, I don't know. I love you, Wade. I love you too. I promised you a home. Well, here it is. You can build me another house. Building them's nothing, Ellen. Then what's keeping us here? The house. I want to see how long it'll stand. must have the hottest sun in the world. You've done enough for this morning. Maybe so. Thanks. Oh, I'm in a knot. A tight little knot. You're worrying about something might never happen. You're the only one who thinks it won't. A lot of men talk guns, but don't use them. I still can't talk you out of it, can I, Wade? In a war, you either stand or run. There comes a time when you've got to fight. Man can't pick a battleground with his back to the enemy. You leaving? No. I'll be killing if you don't. Maybe so. You can count on it. I guess I'll have to take my chances. Your husband's a stubborn man. Maybe you can talk some sense into him. I can't. I'm going to be honest with you, son. I'd like to see you stay. You and your wife have dressed up this country quite a bit. But be smart. You can't win. I'm fighting my own fight. We fear you got to lose. But we have to watch. Because if any one of us had any guts, we would have used them years ago. You once asked me if this was worth dying for. I can tell you right now it isn't. Not the log cabin or the 10 acres I plowed, not an inch of it, but the right to breathe. I think that's worth it. I shouldn't have ridden through the field. Plenty of open country. Good morning, Mr. Garrett. You had a fair warning, Nestor. I see you brought help. They'll stay out of it. I don't think so. You gotta take my word, mister. This is going to be between you and me. It's your idea. You loaded? I am. You can still turn and run, just say the word. You won't see and you won't listen. 
That leaves only one thing, a trade. You're blind, Harlan, and in a minute you're gonna be dead. Maybe I'm done talking. So am I. So that you shouldn't think this couldn't happen again. Could have been your head, Garrett. Well, what are you waiting for? Get it over with. It is over. I'm not asking for mercy. I'm an honest man. You better use that now. You'll never get another chance. Help your boss into a saddle. You made the rules, remember? Man holds what he can back up with a gun. All right, I'm handing you your life and I'm taking this land. If you're not satisfied with the trade, come back. I don't like you, mister. I don't like any nester. Fact is, I hate your guts. I made the rules, I'll back them up. This is your land. Show's over. And don't trample my furrows on the way out. If we had more notice, my wife would have fixed something. Come back some other time. You're always welcome. Wait. It is over, Ellen. It's all over. Is it really? I'll prove that tomorrow when I ride into town. Into town? I'm gonna get you that dollar spool of thread for five cents.